Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the 21st World Tournament. Uh, this is going to be a shorter video. I just want to talk about the tournament, the rewards, the new Doken Awakenings, um, and the new units that are going to be available. So there's only four really four cards we want to talk about, but let's go ahead and talk about everything anyway. The World Tournament is going to start on the 21st, which is tomorrow night. Technically, it's going to be Friday for most of us. It's going to be Friday night for the West Coast guys. Everyone else is pretty much going to be uh, Friday morning, early morning, like around somewhere between 12 to 3, uh, in the States at least. So it's going to be starting for me like around 1.32, 33.30 in the morning on the East Coast here in New York. So um, I'll be doing that. It's going to basically run from Friday to Monday. So we have some time um, to, to actually do this. I personally don't think I'm going to be able to place. Um, I'm kind of hoping for shoot. I'm going to shoot for the top 10,000 because the top 10,000 seems manageable. Like I should be able to actually do that, especially I do have off of work one of the days that the World Tournament's running. So um, I'm going to be happy with that, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, there's a lot of rewards over here. As you see over here, we have the ranking rewards. Number one spot, we get this new Mischievous Curiosity Mighty Mask. Pretty awesome. This is the artwork on the card. I really, I'm actually really digging it. I really do like it. I kind of want a card just because I like the artwork on it. Um, now, I don't have the LR Mighty Mask. I kind of wish that they named it, like, Super Mighty Mask, because you can, you can tell that there's Super Saiyans in there. Uh, I'm not sure. I actually, you know what, I, I'm not, I don't know off the top of my head if the LR Mighty Mask actually has LR on it. Like, or, or says Super Saiyan in, inside of it. I don't think it does. But that would be awesome because that way you can name one Mighty Mask and one Super Mighty Mask. Uh, they can link very, very well together. Um, as always, you get all you get 14 of them. So that way you get up to Super Deck 10 with all four Dupes. Be pretty damn cool. Um, you get a whole bunch of awesome wards. Now, you can actually place up until the top 10,000, as I was saying before. Um, when you get the top 10,000, you get at least one of them. I'm planning on doing at least the top 10,000. I would like just one. I think he's a cool unit. Um, he's definitely World Tournament worthy. Uh, he is a little bit more OP for World Tournament cards that are not to Oaken Awaken, so uh, I can at least say that about him. Uh, pretty cool. Local ranking rewards. Now you, uh, Piccolo is still here uh, in order to gain for the local rewards. I'm personally just going for more of these Master Marks. I mean, I don't even need them at this point in the game. Uh, I've, I've Doken Awaken most of my World Tournament cards, and at this point, I'm just saving up for the, uh, I guess, the LRTN that's going to be coming out at some point. Um, local mission rewards, it's just basic stuff over here. Uh, you get 20, up to 20 wins for all these cool items, mostly Dragon Ball Summer Saga tickets, which you're going to want because of the new Jackie Chun that's coming. Um, all the basic tiers, if you do any type of playing in the, of, of the World Tournament, you're going to slowly get up to the tier. You want to get all the way up to the Beerus tier for 5 Dragon Stones. Um, in terms of points, again, you're going to want to go to the uh, 6.3 million to start the actual ones that matter, at least in my opinion. I mean, Dragon Stones are cool, Summon Tickets are cool and everything, but most of these things are, like, attainable from other means, except for maybe the Dragon Stones. But Potential Orbs are a pain in the butt unless you're going to actually buy them, and I don't plan on buying them. Um, so you can go through here and you can actually grind them out. First, you have to get about 8.7, I think it is, yeah. 8.7 for all of the large, all the medium, and all the small orbs not a fantastic amount but still 20 large orbs definitely is going to help you out large ones are the ones that typically run out for me anyway so you definitely want to do that and then medium would be next um after that uh, you go up to 30 million points for five elder kai six elder kai's actually and you get some elder kai's along the way as well a whole bunch of dragon stones a whole bunch of as guaranteed ssr tickets and then for world tournament wins in a row you just go all the way down to 20 in a row more uh, another uh, another elder kai guaranteed ssr tickets uh, dragon ball saga, saga summon tickets so, pretty standard world tournament. Nothing's really changed. Um, yeah, so I'm going to hopefully shoot and get the uh, top 10,000. I'm really hoping I do. Let me know what you guys plan on shooting for in the comments below. Um, this is the card. This is the reward. This is the uh, Mischievous Curiosity Mighty Mask. Now, I personally like them. Like I said, I like the card artwork and everything. I just like these. They're Super Saiyan and Mighty Mask costume. Um, leader ability is physical type key plus 2. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Uh, final cannon raises attack and defense for one turn, which is cool. Uh, this causes supreme damage to the enemy. His passive skill per peculiar rhythm. Attack and defense plus 80% when facing only one enemy. So his passive skill is actually really damn decent. Um, evades enemy attack, including super attack for one turn when HP is 40% or below, only once. I, I don't know what they're trying to do with that. I think that's all right. I guess it's kind of all right. But like, they maybe a, 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 an evade mechanic would have been a little bit better for him, but I mean, I guess whatever. It doesn't really matter. If your HP drops below 40%, I just hope that they do something like a little animation so you know it's kicked in. <laughs> so that way you're like, oh, wait, I can dodge with this guy. So you, let, me, let me just throw him there. But attack and defense plus 80% is pretty cool. And then you have to think about it as well. 
What's going to happen to this guy when he gets a Doken Awakening? Because uh, as of right now, it's what, attack and defense plus 80%. When he gets a Doken Awakening, that could go up to 100%. So I, I personally think that this guy is worth it. I think this World Tournament is a grind. I guess I should have probably uh, pre-stated the whole video with that. Uh, I think the World Tournament for this guy may, might actually be worth it. Um, he has Super Saiyan, World Tournament Reborn, More Than Meets the Eye, The Innocent, Shocking Speed, and Flea. Um, let's see, The Innocence, Shocking Speed, and Super Saiyan are the only ones that I think are the good links. Actually, yeah, it's really all there is to it. Um, because Flea kind of sucks. Key plus one HP is 30% or below. No, that stinks. Um, the World Tournament Reborn and More Than Meets the Eyes flat out buffs. So yeah, the Innocent, Shocking Speed, and Super Saiyan are the only ones that are worth it. It's actually funny, though, that they did give him Super Saiyan. Like I said, I think it should have been Super Mighty Mask, but that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, I can't wait to see what happens when he Doken Awakens, though. But I think the World Tournament reward in this, in this case is actually going to be worth it. Let's take a look at his uh, Awoken stats. Um, let's see, HP is 7487, attack of 8099, and defense of 4982. Wow, he has a pretty nice defensive stat, actually. Orb system, it's not that bad. 11,000 attack, 10,000 HP, almost 11,000, and 7,700 defense. Not, not great, not bad. I'm not going to give him orb system, though, personally, uh, but ma basic stats are pretty awesome. Um, outside of that, we also have the new Jackie Chun, who will be available. He's also getting a Doken Waking to the TUR. You have the um, Kami and the Goku, which are all getting Doken Awakening. So that's going to be freaking awesome. This is the Jackie Chun. It's going to be available from the Dragon Ball Saga Summon tickets. Um, right now, it's only available on the JP version, but it's coming to Global. So when it's available, you could only go onto the Dragon Ball Saga Summon tickets or Summon banner, and that's where you're going to get him. I like him. I'm, I'm going to be trying to do some summons for him. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a live stream for him or if I'm just going to do a, a basic summoning video. The whole reason why I don't want to do a regular video is because the Saga Summon tickets only do you do one summon at a time. And that's kind of a pain in the butt, and the video can drag on if I'm trying to do like 20, 30 in one video. So I, I might just do a live stream with it, or maybe I'll just do uh, separate videos, and do like one video a day of me trying to get him. Uh, maybe something like that. But um, yeah, so that's going to be available. Let's see, the World Tournament Category Leader, Key Plus 2, uh, HP Attack and Defense Plus 50%. So, I mean, he's not that great, but uh, he'll be good as a leader. Um, I, I personally still want to run my LR Hercule as a lead because it will help out my friends or people who run across me in the friends list when they're trying to do the um, World Tournament, um, the, the Hercules World Tournament Challenge. That way you get the buff from the LR. The LR gives you a higher chance of drops. So I want to be able to help out the people who are on my friends list. So that's why I'm probably not going to run him as a leader unless it's something else going on. Uh, super attack, sleepy boy technique causes supreme damage, seals the attack. It's Jackie Chun, yep. Uh, seal, he always seals attacks. Pass the skill, persistence of the strong. Um, attack and defense plus 50% at the start of the turn. Survives knockout attacks when HP is 30% or more. Um, link skills, brainiac, supreme warrior, gentleman, tournament, cha world tournament champion. Incredible adventure guidance, the dragon balls, only part of the world tournament category. Um, and 12 key multiplier of 140%. Doken awakens into the goofy, goofy, declaring victory, Jackie Chun. I uh, love it. I love this uh, this whole arc. It was awesome. Uh, World Tournament category, key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 70%. Even with that leader, God, God, yes, please, for the love of God, just make sure you still use your LR Hercules or LR Mighty Mask in order for you to do that event because it makes life so much nicer for your friends. Uh, super attack, good boy, sleep, sleep fist. Supreme damage, seals attack. Passive skill, obstinate master. Attack and defense plus 70% at the start of the turn and survives knockout attack when HP is 20% or above. Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Uh, even though I don't think he is a fantastic unit, um, see, it's hard to say because, like, Doken events, sealing super attacks almost never going to work anymore because no one can really get sealed. But it's still going to be useful for most of those events. Attack and defense plus 70% at the start of the turn means he's going to tank and he's going to do some decent damage. And he has, remember, he has supreme damage. And if he's there, he can survive a knockout attempt or knockout attack when your HP is 20% or above. I mean, you have to think how he's actually a really good unit. Um, I get, like I said, I'm going to be summoning for him. I think he's good. I have over 100 Dragon Ball summon tickets, so I'll probably split that, split that up into like five videos or something like that. We'll have to wait and see until I get him. I'm only going to get one of him, though. He is also farmable with the uh, technique Jackie Chun, so definitely keep that in mind. Uh, link skills he gathers, he gets Shattering the Limit, and honestly, he doesn't have some bad Link skills. You just need to find someone from the Dragon Ball series to run next to him, so he gets the uh, Incredible Adventure and Guidance to the Dragon Ball uh, links. Uh, outside of that, um, Brainiacs would probably be the other one that you would want to find, because the other rest is just key, and you don't need too much of that. Uh, especially if you have Shattering Limit, Guidance to the Dragon Balls, and the Incredible Adventure, that's 4 key and 20% attack buff. 
So yeah, he's going to be doing pretty well. His max stats are going to be HP of 75, 50, attack of 7308, and defense of 5215, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. So overall, he's really not a bad unit, especially for like a unit for the Dragon Ball Saga summons. Uh, he's actually viable, and I could see people running him. I probably would run him if I can pull him. I'm really hoping I can pull him. Um, the next one is going to be the Kami. This is a new Doken Awakening. Leader abilities need all types key, plus 3, HP and defense plus 40%. Super attack, Dragon Light Bullet, Supreme Damage, Greatly Lowers Defense. That's pretty cool. Passive Skill is actually really awesome passive. Advice to Martial Arts Artists. All allies, key plus two, attack and defense plus 25%. He's part of the Realm of Gods team, also the future Namekian team, which should be coming to Global soon. So he could actually be a really good support unit for um, the Realm of Gods team. I mean, personally, I don't ever see myself running him, but he can be run as a really good support unit because that's that's really awesome. Attack and defense for all allies plus 25%. I might consider um, replacing my Merge Damasu for this guy. Uh, link skills are prodigies, cold judgment, strength and unity. Um, the incredible adventure guidance of the Dragon Ball Shattering the Limit. He's really not going to have anyone to link with on the Realm of Gods team though, so that kind of sucks. So he's really going to be there just as like a, a buff to everyone. And I don't know, between uh, the, the attack plus 25% for all the other allies that are on the team, I don't know if it's going to outweigh the damage that they're going to do, the extra damage that they will do comp as compared to having Merge the Masu on your team. Um, but yeah, that's there. His, his stats don't really matter because he's a support unit. 12 key multipliers, crappy 135%. But again, support unit. If you guys need support units, he's going to be a really good support unit. Not only is he a super unit, he's a physical unit, and he does all allies. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter if they're like extreme or super or a specific type. He's just all allies, unbridled, key plus two, attack and defense plus 25%. Really awesome unit. And the last unit, Stoke Awakening, is going to be the greatest assault, Goku Youth Giant 8. Leader abilities, all types, key plus three, attack and defense plus 40%. Supreme damage to the enemy with a Kamehameha. Uh, beating power, attack and defense plus 70% of the start of the turn, which is cool. Rare chance to turn into a giant ape. I like that because it's a rare chance. I hate the freaking mechanic myself. Um, so it's there, and it doesn't do it twice after he Doken Awakens. Interesting thing is, though, he does have Saiyan Roar. I know it is, like, you know, it's a, it's a, a transformation thing, but uh, Saiyan Roar, attack plus 25%. It's specific for Saiyan. He didn't know he was a Saiyan at the time, but whatever. It, that's just me nitpicking a little bit. But I guess it's going to be good because you link him right next to the... Um, uh, the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, you could before, but now even more so. Uh, he has Shattering the Limit, which is also awesome because there's a lot of good Shattering the Limit units um, on the team, on the teams that you could run on Mono Agility uh, Hero. Uh, he has Saiyan Roar, Transform, Incredible Adventure, All in the Family, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Kamehameha. Um, categories are Low Class Warrior, Giant Form, Pure Saiyans, and Max Stats are 95-72 for attack, or HP. Attack of 8389 and defense of 3887 uh, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Uh, overall, pretty good unit. Um, his transformation state is nothing really, it's not really that great. Uh, base attack is 25,000. So, I mean, overall, I think the World Tournament is pretty awesome. I, I really like the, I, I like the Jackie Chun and I like the Mighty Mask. I think both of them are pretty damn cool. I just like Mighty Mask mostly because he's probably going to have a really awesome Doken Awakening in the future, and Jackie Chun is just a freaking good unit. Plus, it's Jackie Chun. How can you not like him? But um, anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about the new World Tournament down in the comments below. I'll definitely be responding to them. I'm going to be taking place. Like I said, I'm going to hopefully try and get placed in the top 10,000. But anyway, guys, thank you. I'll catch you all later. Peace.